Now we shall teach you what will happen when little Herman, uh, his lungs are transplanted with that of the pigs. As you see in front of you, we will have two beds in the operating theater, lit with lamps so we can see what we are doing. On the left we will have little Herman and on the right we will have the pig. We will proceed in the beginning to cut open little Herman's little chest and we will extract his lungs with the greatest of care. Once we have done this, we will place the lungs in a bowl and then we shall proceed over to the pig for which we shall carry out a similar action. We will cut open the pig's big fat belly and we shall cut out its lungs as well. So then we will take the pig's lungs and we will put them into little Herman's body under the rib cage. To reattach the lungs we use a technique similar in principle to the resetting of a broken bone. This technique of my own we now know as the glucification technique. How glucification works is that we take a scraping from a rib bone of the patient, crush the bone down and then heat until it forms a liquidy sticky paste of sorts which we proceed to spread along the areas of linkage between the lungs and the rest of the body. As this mixture takes a fair duration to harden, we must leave the body open to allow the drying process to occur. To prevent infection from germ-filled air around the little Herman, we will put him inside a specially formulated bubble, if you will. A bubble that is made from adopted nasal insides that I have been collecting for some time now. I did not know when they would come in useful, but then I discovered this process. Basically, as has happened with all our noses, the hairs with the sticky mucus that is naturally built up in this area will capture the germs from the air therefore not letting them through to be of any harm to little Herman. In this bubble he shall stay for approximately 12 hours, after which we may cut open the bubble and proceed to stitch up little Herman. A few hours later he will awaken, fresh as new, and with the lungs of the pig, which will if all goes according to plan, turn him into a perfectly healthy human boy specimen.